Lesson two, we are going to be converting metric length measurements. So we're going to be working strictly with meters. All right, here's your learning goal again. Go ahead and write yourself at the beginning of the lesson. And go ahead and write this down. There's one kilometer in a thousand meters. There's a hundred centimeters in one meter. So kilometers are bigger than meters and meters are bigger than centimeters. So here, looking at our chart, five kilometers is how many meters? Well, I know there's one kilometer, one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, right? Kilo is 1,000, so kilo, 1,000, our base unit is meter, all right? So if one kilometer is 1,000 meters, well, 1,000 times five is 5,000. So there are 5,000 meters in five kilometers. Okay, let's try 13. So I know one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters, right? Kilometer, 1,000 kilometer, okay? So here, if I have 13 kilometers, how many meters would I have? Well, I have to multiply 1,000 times 13, because I'm adding 13 equal groups of 1,000. Basic fact, 13 times 1 is 13, 3 more zeros, so 13,000 meters. All right, I have 60 kilometers. So remember, one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. So we do the multiplication, 60 times 1,000. Basic fact, 6 times 1 is 6, 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 60,000 meters, All right? Now let's go the other way. I know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Well, now I have to look at it the other way. So I have 17,000 meters. Well, how many kilometers is that? Or how many groups of 1,000 do I have? Well, I have 17,000, so I have 17 groups of 1,000, all right? Now let's talk about centers, centimeters. Remember, there are 100 centimeters in one meter, right? Because centimeters are smaller, they're a hundredth. So there's a hundred centimeters in one meter. So if I have 200, 2,400 centimeters, right? How many groups of 100 centimeters do I have to get to meters? Well, okay, 2,400 divided by 100, one, two zeros, one, two zeros, you get 24. So 24 meters are in 2,400 centimeters, all right? Now we have seven meters, okay? Now remember, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. So meters are bigger than centimeters, so I'm going to have more centimeters because they're smaller. So I'm going to multiply 100 times seven, and you get 700 centimeters, which makes sense because centi is smaller. You're going to have more small units. All right, another one, 19 meters is equal to how many centimeters? Remember, there's 100 centimeters in one meter. So if I do 19 groups of 100, I get 1,900. And this is the last one I think we're doing together. So 90 meters is equal to how many centimeters? Well, I know that 100 centimeter is equal to one meter. So you can multiply. I now have 90 groups of 100 centimeters. So 9,000. All right. We're going to move on from these. So let's try this. 
If I have 2 kilometers and 303 meters minus 556 meters, I'm going to subtract them. But I can't subtract yet because look, my units aren't the same. So I need to convert first. So 2 kilometers is equal to 2,000 meters, right? So 2,000 meters is right here plus 303 meters, right? 2,000 plus 303 is 2,303 meters. Now I can subtract because, look, my units are the same. It's kind of like having, like, denominators. You can only add or subtract with, like, denominators. So then you just do some subtraction. You're going to need to regroup. So 6 from 3 is 13 is 7. 5 from 9 is 4. I'm going to need to regroup again. 5 from 12 is 7. So my final answer is 1,747 meters. Now I also could convert this into kilometers in meters because I know that there are 1,000 kilometers in a meter. I could also do one kilometer and 747 meters. All right, so these two are equivalent. Let's try another one. So I have 231 meter, kilometers and 811 meters plus 485 kilometers and 200 or 828 meters. So again, I'm going to have to convert because all of my units aren't the same. So I'm going to convert my kilometers into meters. So 231 kilometers is equal to 231,000 meters, and then I have 811 here, right? So that is this side of my problem. Plus, let's get the other side of the problem. So 485 kilometers is equal to 485,000 meters, right? Now add your 828 meters. Put those together. You have 485,828. So this is the other side of my problem. Now I'm going to put these together. And I'm going to do it vertically because that's easier for me. So 231,811 plus 485,828. Put them together. 8 and 1 is 9. 2 and 1 is 3. 8 and 8 is 16. 5, 1 and 1 is 7. 8 and 3 is, excuse me, 11. That's a 1. 4, 2 and 1 is equal to 7. So we have 717,639 meters, or you can convert it into kilometers as well. 770 kilometers, 639 meters. All right? Tonight for homework, please solve these following problems. After you've done that, please make sure you rate yourself. Good work, and I will see you tomorrow.